Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and one of our latest projects. This video is for you, John, and uh, we're going to do a quick walk around. What we have here is a Jennings Sportsman. Uh, the Jennings Sportsman uh, is a combination slot machine. Uh, everyone knows uh, Jennings made slot machines, and as you can see, this ornate front panel is very typical of a beautiful uh, Jennings slot machine. And you have the handle pull, but not only is it a slot machine, we have a pinball machine also. It's in a beautiful uh, wood cabinet. It's been completely restored. Let's do a quick walk around here. Very deep, almost uh, mahogany looking, but the actual cabinet is made out of poplar. If you follow some of our video, earlier videos, you saw this machine in its original state, all banged up, but uh, it's been completely redone. And here we are at the front again. Now, people think, you know, unfortunately, the first thing that someone wants to do, they see this pinball machine and they want to crank this handle down. Um, the handle is nothing like a regular slot machine when you pull down really hard. This lever, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing that it's still in this kind of condition because so many people I've seen in the past have broken these off and they're, it, it's just, when you know that you have uh, the possibility of getting a payout, all you do is just push the handle down lightly and uh, it will allow you to push it down because I, right now if I try to do it, it just it pushes but it doesn't, uh, you'll feel resistance. When the machine is uh, ready for a payout, the coils hold back a locking mechanism and allows you to push the handle down all the way. So let's get a little closer here. On the bottom here, you have your um, uh, ball lifter. Okay, this would lift the ball up to the play field. And then you got your plunger switch, which is what you're going to control as you pull back. It's, it's numbered on a metal little metal track on its left there. I'm sorry. And as you pull back, you'll get the feel of how far you need to shoot the ball so it comes up and around. It's going to bounce off of that spring, and you want it to get to the skill shot. The skill shot is necessary for you to get a payout. First, you need the skill shot in, and then you need to get a, uh, a pair of uh, these animals here, uh, like the pheasant. We have the pheasant up on top, and then you'd have to get these other pheasants here, which shows 1,000, so that's probably going to be your largest payout. Then there's the rabbit. Then there's the partridge. So that's your goal. Once you get the skill shot, hopefully you can get that in your first shot. And that is when it comes into learning how far you need to pull back on your little plunger switch. And you can't rock the machine, because if you rock the machine, you knock the ball off the tilt. And if you knock it off the tilt, it will not allow any electricity to flow through the machine. And it's basically you're playing the game for free. Uh, not for free, but you're playing it without the possibility of winning. And here you have an instruction card of exactly what and how you could win. I'm sorry about the glare there, but it's just shooting off the, the, the lights from the ceiling here. Now, different than some of the other um, sportsmen, this one is the most desirable because it has these aluminum excussion plates. You could see that they're raised off of the play field. And you have a, this metal... Uh, uh, let's just call it metal, uh, it's a small aluminum plate that controls, that shows you how far the plunger can go. And something that I have never seen on any of the other machines are these two aluminum uh, plates that are on the top that say Sportsman. Um, I've only seen it uh, maybe one other time in a photograph, but it was really neat to have one uh, that actually had it so I can, you know, copy it of the course and if you watch our other uh, videos the other two sportsmen that we had uh, we did make copies of those uh, plates for the machines
Well, let's get back down here and show you exactly. Um, if I had the key, there are two keys in the machine, and one of them is for the top, which will allow us to open up the top of the machine. And the other one is for this coin box, which is all original, which is pretty cool. And we have an original lock, and we're going to open it up. And let's take a look what's inside here. Inside, we have the original coin box with its little door. I think it opens from the back side. So, Got a couple nickels inside there now. And then if you look really close, it's kind of neat. You have a uh, Mr. Velasco was uh, the, the man who inspected this machine before it went sent, got sent out. It's kind of neat little piece of history back there. Uh, don't see a date on it, but it uh, has a number of this machine being 7556. And it says... Uh, uh, inspection card, O.D. Jennings and Company. So let's put that back in. And to put it back in, you'll see this. there's this little, little nipple that sticks out. All you're doing is you're lining up in here, and then you're going to turn the key until you feel it lock. And then it'll be allow you to take it out. And John, you'll probably get get the machine with the key right up on top there for you. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna give it a give it a go. Right now, this is how the game would start, basically because somebody else was before you, and you have a bunch of balls in the holes. So pull your pull your coin mech back, and every time you pull, you can hear it drop the last coin that was inside there. So I just put my nickel in. I'm going to push forward. I push forward and it pulls all those balls. And like I said, now we are going, and it also reset the, your, um, you know, your tilt, tilt mechanism there. And now as I push the ball lift, Gives you a ball. And now let's I'm gonna just try number let me try four. I'm gonna pull back the, the number four. Let's see what kind of action we get. Oh almost there. But we got a pheasant. So I'm gonna advance another ball up here. Now I'm gonna go, let's say four and a half. Uh, four and a half. Uh, not quite. Alright, so we're gonna go five this time. So this is kind of how you got to keep track of where you were at the last time. So we're going to pull it back to like five and see where that takes us. Oh, takes us to a missed shot. All right, let me try it again now. Focus the camera up to the top there. That one didn't work. Try it again. I did a little. Let's do. Uh, not quite. Oh, almost. All right. Maybe that one. No, boy, do I suck at this game. Let's try. I'm gonna do it one more time. Ah, close. Oh, too hard. All right, come on. Let's get it in there. Oh, there it is. So, I ended up using all the balls that, that you get, which uh, I forget how many you actually get. Um, you would think I would know this. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got ten balls, I believe, in the play field here. It took me ten shots just to get the one skill shot. Of course, if you played it all the time, eventually you're going to get the feel of that plunger and know exactly how far you need to pull. And then you're going to want to manipulate the ball. 
and you're going to manipulate it by nudging the machine left to right so you can kind of control the game because that's why they call these. They were pinball machines without flippers. So, well, how do you direct the ball? You nudge it. Uh, what I'm doing here is just giving you a nice close-up of the play field. It's absolutely beautiful. You don't see that red on most of them because it has been faded so much that it's almost like a different color. And yes, uh, there, we did not uh, touch up the play field here, but we had everything off. Every single piece was polished because you can see these springs came out beautifully. Um, but we did clear coat over this play field to give it an, uh, you know, another run of uh, many years um, of playing on it. Because uh, when you find these machines, the machines are covered, the balls are stain stainless steel uh, pinballs. And they, have, they get pits on them. So it's like running a sandpaper over your machine. So luckily, this machine was found and uh, nobody played it. And we changed the balls out, protected the, this play field with another, you know, two coats of clear. And uh, this is what we have now. Well, there you have it, John. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you're interested in this machine, or you have one uh, available for sale, or you need one restored, please give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching.